Hello students and fellow researchers. This time I'm going to discuss research designs, focusing on true experimental designs and their applicable statistical analysis tools. Let us consider two of the true experimental design types. The first is the pretest post test control group design. This is one that consists of a control probability sample or group and an experimental probability sample or group arranged in such a way that both groups shall be administered at test or observed for measurement prior to the application of the treatment to the experimental group, we call that as pretest, and tested again after the administration of the treatment to the latter, we call that as post-test. The second is the post-test only control group design. This is a plan that consists of a probability sample of group and an experimental probability sample or group tested after the administration of the treatment to the latter. This is the illustration of the pretest post test control group design. We have OPR X OPO. Well, OPR is pre treatment observation or test. X is treatment and OPO is post-treatment observation or test. Let us consider this illustrative example. Dr. C intends to find out if the <clears throat> module he developed could help improve the performance of his students in his statistics. He randomly selected 10 students whom he intended to give a module each and 10 students whom he will not give a module. Prior to the giving of the module, he gave a test to the two groups. He later gave the modules for use by students 1 to 10 and did not give any module to students 11 to 20. He made arrangements and situations such that all the other factors that could affect a student performance are controlled. After sufficient time passed, he again administered a test to the two groups. The pretest and post-test performances of the two groups are presented in the preceding table. And this is the table. Dr. C must determine the following arithmetic means of the performances of the experimental group and the control group, the differences in the means, and the significance of the difference between the means. From this design and results, it will be possible for us to find out if there is a difference between the performances of the following, we specify that from one to four, and the applicable statistical tools to Dr. C's situation are shown in the following table. If you analyze the table, the applicable statistical tools to the pretest post test control group design are very simple. Only arithmetic mean, difference, t-test of difference between the means of two independent samples, and t-test of difference between the means of two paired samples. And the Excel solutions for the specified statistical analysis tools in the preceding table are presented in the preceding table, showing the arithmetic means, 
the differences, the t tests for two sample assuming equal variances, and the t test for paired samples. This is the Excel sheet that shows the solutions to all those specified statistical analysis tools. The illustration for the post-test only control group design is now shown. We have X and OPO. X is the treatment and OPO is the post-treatment observation or test. We again consider a situation where Dr. C intends to find out if the module he developed could help improve the performance of his students in his statistics. He randomly selected 10 students whom he administered a module each and 10 students whom he did not give a module. After some time, he administered a test to both groups the results of which are given in the following table. So these are the results of the post-test administered by Dr. C. The applicable statistical tools here are arithmetic mean, difference, and t-test of difference between the means of two independent samples and the solutions for the specified tools above are shown in the preceding Excel sheet. As you may have observed, through experimental designs already establish the kind of sample of the investigations and the applicable statistical analysis tools that shall be employed. And these are very simple, just arithmetic mean, difference, and t-test. For the p-test post-test control group design, we have two kinds of t-tests. T-test for two samples, assuming equal variances, and t-test for paired samples, while for the post-test only control group design. We only have arithmetic mean, difference, and t-test for two samples assuming equal variances. Thank you for viewing and listening.